as for this whole like gravity and nonsense about you need a force there's something called a downward electric current on the earth it's measurable it's provable so we have positive energy increasing above it then goes down to the ground to seek equilibrium this is of course from a richard Feynman lecture right here explaining it it's a grounded metal plate will have the same surface charge as the earth the plates covered with the ground conductor will have no surface charge in the next level movie actually it's level with me check it out level with me film.com we actually did the experiment to show you can make things go up and down manipulating electrostatics gravity is a fairy tale here's the downward electric current going down to the surface of the earth so when you when, if you deny this you deny basic measurable empirical evidence that can be done by going out in the earth and measuring that there's a measurable downward electric current on the earth oh well let's not talk about that much of the following explanation is adapted from nobel prize winning physicist richard feynman's lecture on physics a section called electricity in the atmosphere for every meter you go up in the air the voltage increases by around 100 volts or we could say around 100 volts per yard we can draw these voltage increases using what are called equipotential lines. Notice that the ground is negative and the sky is positive with respect to each other. According to Feynman, this extends upward to 50 kilometers, or 31 miles, where the air is very conductive. This is the case in fair weather. In stormy weather, like a thunderstorm, things are quite different, and I won't talk about that here. But if this voltage exists between your head and the ground, why don't you get a shock? The reason is that your body is a good enough electrical conductor that standing on the ground, you're basically a part of the ground. The equipotential lines would look like this. There's still effectively zero volts between the top of your head and ground. Similar effects happen with trees, buildings, and so on. What about the electric current? A downward electrical current exists and consists of positive ions. Molecules are clumps of matter that have a positive charge. These ions are moving slowly toward the ground. The current density from these ions is very small, around 10 micro micro amps, or 10 pico amps, crossing each square meter or yard every second. So in any small area, there's not a lot of power. And that's the explanation about atmospheric electricity adapted from Feynman's lectures. What about the electric current? A downward electrical current exists and consists of positive ions. Molecules are clumps of matter that have a positive charge. The current density from these ions is very small. Oh, well, let's not talk about that. The downward electrical current exists and consists of positive ions. Molecules are clumps of matter that have a positive charge. In a vacuum, what ions, molecules that are clumps of matter, are pushing down in a vacuum, making things fall? Oh, well, let's not talk about that.